Okay. Mackenzie, how are you, mate? Good well, thank you. How are you? Very good, very good. Okay, so for those who are watching the uh, the video today, let's uh, start with a bit of an introduction on yourself, mate. Who are you? Where are you? And uh, a bit about yourself as well. Yep, so I'm Mackenzie Smith. Uh, I work currently at Ray White Mandra. Um, I've been in the real estate for maybe about three months now. Um, first came in three months ago and I didn't have my license yet or, or my re re registration. So basically came in, uh, just been working through my registration as well as working under uh, Theo uh, Alexandru, um, who's the uh, di director, basically as, as a mentor. Um, and I've been going out to all his appointments uh, and then doing some buyer callbacks and all that kind of stuff. And then about uh, two weeks ago, I got my registration uh, and now I'm hitting the ground running and trying to find out where I can exceed and excel and um, trying to make my way into the market share. Um, and then, so basically from that point before that, um, I was in the uh, Royal Australian Navy for four years. Um, did that when I basically got out of school. At, um, I did a few little things uh, when I was 18 as a gap year, uh, as per se. But I joined when I was 19. I got out when I was 23. And then I thought I'd go into the um, tradey kind of life. And I was um, I was being an apprentice sparky. I uh, did that for about a year. And then uh, I guess the passion kind of grew from going around to different uh, properties uh, and working on their homes and talking to the clients and finding out what they wanted uh, for their house for selling. Uh, and I was kind of, you know, learning from the uh, tradies. And that's where the kind of the, the spark uh, property, yeah, yeah, hit. And I said, oh, well, actually, I, I really want to get into the real estate game. So um, that's where I called up. And yeah, luckily had, a, had an opportunity to come in and um, work under Theo and now going out myself and looking for a, a little bit of guidance on, on here and there and everywhere. Yeah, awesome, mate. And hopefully we can add some value to you today. I'm sure we will. So for those uh, who don't know where Mandra is, uh, you're out in the West. Uh, we'll uh, we'll forgive you for that for any yes. eastern, eastern suburbs watching. Uh, what, is, what is it? Where Mandra? It's, it's like south of Frio, right? Just south of Frio? Is that right? Oh, Fremantle? probably about an hour south. So, an hour south of Fremantle. Um, okay. Yeah, gotcha. Yep, yep. Yeah, so you, you've got Rockingham uh, as the first kind of city uh, below Perth, and then you go another half an hour, and then, then there's Mandra. So we're about uh, on a good day, hour and 10 um, up the freeway uh, to Perth. Good seafood restaurant out on the uh, out on the, the water there at Mandra. I went there once and got a big old seafood mm. basket. It was like this high. And anyway, I've been to Mandra. Yeah. So there you go. Anyway, <laughs> oh, mate, what we're, gonna, what we're going to dive into today is, uh, number one, I was, I was excited to talk to you today, mate, for, for a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, for anyone, uh, most of people won't know, but Theo, who, who Mackenzie's talking about, uh, we've actually worked with Theo for, for a very long time as well. Really, really good operator. Um, second thing is um, being a new agent. It is a tough one to, to start with, man. Like I think at the end of the day, you know, when uh, when most current real estate agents started in this industry, um, Joe, for myself, it was, you know, 10, 11 years ago now, probably plus 11 years now even. For me, it was quite easy, right? I mean, easier than what it is today to a degree. I mean, we had a lot of data available. You could call whoever the hell you wanted to. Um, do not calls were only just becoming a bit of a thing. So literally, and people still answer their landlines, right? Um, back then as well for the any any of the uh, the OG operators that are watching as well who are sort of seven, eight, nine years plus. You know, door knocking was pretty. You know, wasn't really a thing either. So you could knock on ten doors and you'd probably get five appraisers off the back of it. Um, letterbox drops, no one. You know, it was it was a pretty fresh thing, sort of eight, nine, ten years ago as well. Um, it's obviously pretty saturated space now. Where I get excited talking about new agents, Mackenzie, and why I wanted to talk to you as well was um, it is a bit of a tricky one, man. So I I, I, um, I admire that um, obviously you're three months in. I can understand where you're at. You're probably banging your head up against the brick wall at, at times going, <laughs> what the hell is going on? And for some context for you as well, mate, I've, I've got my own agency as well as my marketing business. I'm actually here today. Um, and... You know, we, we we purely recruit green agents as well. We've got a couple of existing agents, of course, but most of our recruitment comes from green agents. So, um, you know, you need 
fresh and new ways to try and uh, get your name and your brand out there. So that's what we're going to be talking about today, mate. We'll do a quick audit of your Facebook page and just have a bit of a squiz at what you're up to. Um, what I'll, I'll try and give you some value on and hopefully yeah. anyone else watching back can get some value on as well. We'll focus on two main things today, okay? So number one, uh, brand awareness, creating more personal brand awareness and trying to introduce you to more homeowners in your marketplace and build some brand equity is what we call refer to it as. Brand equity is very simply um, having a profile in their subconscious, right? So if people think about real estate, we want people to think about Mackenzie Smith, okay? Does that make sense? So we want to be really, really short Definitely. and simple with it. And then, of course, let's still talk about lead generation as well. At the end of the day, um, the more opportunities you're getting into at the moment, whether they're pipeline opportunities or immediate, it's irrelevant. You've got to really focus on building your database and building that pipeline. So we'll spend a little bit of time talking about um, lead generation and pipeline building as well. Sound good? Any questions for, uh, for me off the off the top? No, no. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited cool. to hear. Let's rip in. Actually, the third thing I wanted to talk about as well, for any anyone else watching today or watching the video as well, um, uh, Ray White, as big as an agency is in this country in Australasia, not huge in the West, right? No. Not, not like a, there's not a massive brand awareness for Ray White in the West. Like obviously in the eastern suburbs of, of particularly New South Wales and Queensland and, and even slightly Victoria as well, huge brand presence. So you, you mentioned the name Ray White. Everyone knows who you are and, and, and what the brand stands for. So in, in the Eastern States, very easy to build credibility. I'll talk a lot about credibility today as well. Very easy to build credibility in the East because people already understand and appreciate who Ray White is, but relatively, um, uh, well, certainly not one of the bigger players in the rest. Am I right, Mackenzie? Not, uh, yeah. So which basically yeah, means for you, you being, being a brand new agent, You've got the luxury of having Theo. Theo being an excellent operator, an excellent agent himself. Um, 100%. Some strong brand awareness in there as well. You can probably, for lack of a better expression, you can probably ride his coattails a little bit. And for anyone, uh, any other new agents yeah. out there at the moment as well, I encourage that highly. Do you know, I mean, ultimately the best thing to do is find a senior agent who's doing well, just ride those coattails for as long as you need to. I, I kind of went the other way around. I was too egocentric when I was 20, 21 and just thought, I'm just going to try and do it myself. And it's a much slower process, right? Sure, you learn um, a lot in that mm. process, but you lose a lot of business. So really good thing to do is just jump under someone someone like Theo uh, and, uh, and ride that as long as you can. So yeah, another thing that I think we've got to probably touch on a little bit as well is we need to try and build that trust and that, that credibility for Ray White as well as Mackenzie Smith where you are as well because being a new agency and a relatively new brand in the West, not to the rest of Australia, of course, but you've still got to try and build that as well. Cool. Sound good. Let's dive in. I'm going to share my screen with awesome. you and let's uh, let's first dive into your Facebook page. So what I want you to start with, mate, is I want you to think about your Facebook page as your resume, okay? Mm. So if I'm a seller in Mandra looking to considering selling my property, the first thing I'm probably doing more often than not, so let's call it 70 or 80% of the time, even as high as 90% of the time sometimes, uh, people are researching your Facebook page, okay? Mm. So what they see here will be a direct reflection on how you should be as a person, okay? Mm. The last thing people want, look, if I if I land on your page now, th my first impression is, you know, young, sharp, savvy, you know, like, you know, well-presented um, and professional. You know, this, this, this first page in front of me right now is pretty professional. So the immediate impact, professional, incredible, right? So I get that. That's a great start. Um, but as we start go going through your page, we want to start finding out a little bit more about Mackenzie Smith. Okay. Mm. Yes. We want to, we want to know what you're up to and, and what you're doing in your professional life, but I also want to see a little bit of, a little bit more of a, some characteristics about you as an individual as well, because keep in mind that is a direct reflection on how you are as an agent, but let's also keep in mind that people relate or people want to work with people that they relate to. Okay. So when people start scrolling through your online resume, which is your Facebook page, and just for, for full disclosure here as well, if, you know, I, I look at people's Facebook pages. If I'm hiring someone, recruiting people, um, you know, I always look at you know, even agents that I deal with in my marketing business, I'll always do a quick order of their Facebook page to get a bit of an idea on the personality type they might be. Um, and if there's nothing there, it's always a tricky conversation to start with because I don't know what I'm walking into. I don't know if they're going to be relatable to me. I don't know if they're going to be, okay with me dropping f-bombs and c-bombs or if they're mm -hmm. going to be you know yeah. 
um, uh, slightly different to the character so I am and I've got to try and mold myself or, or um, chameleon a little bit to, to relate. So it's really important that you look at your Facebook page as your online resume. Resumes are pretty much dead these days anyway, right? So first impression, pretty good. I mean, ultimately, this stuff on the left-hand side, uh, look, it's 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 not bad, but it's just quite heavy. And what it also screams mm. to me is it's very, very real estate agent-y, right? If that's even a fucking word, right? Very real estate agent-y. Yeah, so yeah. what this basically Obviously. means, let's, 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 let's look at myself as a vendor, right? I'm a vendor in, in uh, Mandra, thinking about selling my property. Um, you show up, my, if I'm up in my news feed or you've knocked on my door or whatever it might be, you've called me. Um, and I've shortlisted, let's say I've shortlisted three to five agents, okay? First thing I do is I go onto every agent's Facebook page and I try and find out a little bit more about them, okay? So at the moment, you're opening yourself up to a very broad audience with this. This Let's look at this as like a landing page. At the mm -hmm. moment, this the landing page side of things, you're opening yourself up to a very broad audience. But the way I tend to refer to this as is you're pleasing everyone without upsetting anyone and you're not really exciting anyone either, right? So it's very, mm. very vague, very traditional. Um, again, you're not really you 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 you're almost concerned about ruffling anyone's feathers, right? To a degree, you just want to please as many people as possible. Now, first lesson yep. in real estate in 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 online presence, you don't want to you don't want to worry about pleasing everyone, right? Because there's going to be a ton of people that Mackenzie Smith just doesn't get along with, right? And that's yep. okay. Um, at the end of the day, they're going to catch you out eventually anyway. So I tend to refer to it as uh, being like a general practitioner or being a specialist, right? Let's say, for example, you need heart surgery. Do you, do you go to a GP or do you go to a heart surgeon? You go to a heart surgeon every single day of the week. So the reason you don't go to a general practitioner, sure, they can probably give you some vague advice, but are they a specialist? Absolutely not. So ex as exaggerated as that sounds, you've almost got to look at that the same way in, in our industry, if you're just trying to be a cup of tea to everyone and please everyone, again, you're not going to really excite anyone either. No one's going to be really drawn to you. Um, even if you only have five, 10, 20, 30% of the market who relate to you as an individual, that's okay. Those 10, 20, 30% of whatever it is are going to fucking love Mackenzie Smith because mm. you're your own person. Does that make sense? 100%. So what I'd almost encourage here, man, is, is probably um, like just being a bit, like playful and fun or, you know, just being a bit more about your personality, putting your more, more personality into this. If, if you, know, you don't have to do it straight away, maybe like obviously work with it for a little while until you start building some momentum, whatever else. But as you start to get a bit more confidence and more importantly, competence as an individual mm. and you, you start to figure out what your identity is. How old are you, by the way, Mackenzie? I'm 24. 24, great. So what do you do in your spare time? Uh, I've got three kids and a wife. Do you? Geez, you're being busy, yeah. man. Nice so start, yeah, one hundred percent. Cool. So, um, so yeah, three, a twenty-four year old, three kids and a wife, man. We, you know, we we want to hear about that. That that stuff mm. absolutely fucking works for this, right? So if I'm if I'm if I'm a vendor and I've got three kids and a wife, even if I'm forty, you know, I'm going to relate to you because you've got three kids and a wife. We can talk about the same things. So it doesn't mm. necessarily have to be your a shot of your family here. But something to show that you're a family orientated man and 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 a dad and a proud one and whatever else. So try and yep. maybe jazz this up a little bit, you know. Like just think about that um, uh, a little bit more. Don't make a drastic change and go and change it straight away. Have a think about how you want your market to perceive you as a as an agent, but of course as a person, right? And that's a big kicker here. People don't want another agent. They don't want more of the same. There's enough real estate agents in, in your area and in the country, 65,000 real estate in the country. I can promise you, man, that 60,000 of them are just doing the same thing, right? So do something different. Really work to your strengths. Work to the family-orientated uh, personality types and whatever else. So, yeah, that's probably the first thing I'd, I'd consider. So if you take a mental note here, I know you're on your phone in your car here, so if you take a mental note, maybe just try and add some character into that cover photo. Cool? Oh, have I still got you? Oh, I think I've lost him. Mackenzie, Mackenzie, have I got you? Lost him. We'll keep this rolling and see if he chimes back in. Now's a good time to probably tell a joke. Don't have any. 
Mackenzie, where are you? All right, I'm going to keep going so anyone else uh, watching can uh, still chime into it. So I'm just going to still share screen so I can see him come up. Okay, so anyone watching, still watching, I'm going to keep this rolling through. Once Mackenzie jumps in, we'll keep it rolling and Mackenzie can jump on the replay after. Okay, so as I said, first thing, add some character to the cover photo. Mackenzie, if hopefully you're watching the replay, this is great. As a profile photo, not too professional, um, not too laid back. You know, it's it's a bit more candid, like it, right? Still shows you professional, um, you know, well presented, got the suit and tie. That stuff's great. I encourage you to keep it that way. I think that's probably the best thing you can do. I think, um, oh, have we got him back? Here we are. Sour Patch Kids. There we go. Lost you for a minute there, man. I am so sorry. Don't um, stress. Two seconds. My phone overheated. Oh, <laughs> right. I, uh, where oh, we get to? God. I kept I kept it rolling anyway. Because we're recording, I kept it rolling anyway. So we're all good. So oh, first, first, first thing, um, as I said, add, add a bit of character to your cover photo. But at the moment, that's okay. As I said, you're kind of pleasing everyone at the moment without exciting anyone. So just have a think about that of what you can do and add in there. I'm a big fan of adding some some uh, some family elements and and personal characteristics to it. Second, love this cover the hero. Uh, yep. Sorry, the profile photo. I think um, for a profile photo in today's society, I think what a lot of people do is they think too professional. Now, if that's your style, great, go for it. But I tend to like this. I mean, if I'm a if I'm a vendor again. I'm kind of I'm kind of getting a bit more of understa understanding of who Mackenzie is now, okay? Because it's not a typical just let's yep. see you don't have one there, great, perfect. It's not a typical hands in his pockets, hands behind the back, big cheesy grin, three piece suit, typical profile headshot, uh, and I'm totally okay with that. In fact, I probably prefer that to a certain degree because again, it's giving people a bit more of a reflection that you are a little bit more laid back. You don't have to be professional all the time. Now, I can always guarantee you've probably put this photo up because you don't have a professional headshot done yet because you're still early in, but don't be afraid to keep it as this photo, okay? Or even this type of photo, laid back, approachable, um, candid kind of um, avenue that I'm kind of pushing down. Because what does this tell me about you as, as an individual? Number one, well presented. You know, you got a nice suit on. Um, you look good. You look sharp. Um, you know, I'm looking at this property, even though I can't get a great reflection on the property. It looks like a nice home, so it's give me a bit of an idea on the style of homes that you guys sell and, and operate with. So it's telling me, this is this photo is telling me a lot more about you as an agent and as a person than what a standard profile photo would do. Does that make sense? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, cool. So I'd almost, I'd stick to this style. Don't be afraid. Like if you do go and get a profile headshot eventually, like that's fine. It's good for realestate.com and domain and things like that. But for Facebook, Instagram, things like that. Keep it a bit more laid back. Keep it a bit more candid. This kind of stuff works really, really well. Okay. So I love that. Keep it that style. Yep. Um, as we start coming down, uh, you're a bit, your intro section, really good. Uh, again, this this short and sharp little piece here, Mackenzie is extremely driven, honest, and has um, built a foundation on trust with his clients. Great. Pretty cliche, of course. Everyone speaks the same kind of language there. I'm glad you haven't overdone <laughs> that, though. I, I think that's fine. That's enough. Like, I love that you've worked, used keywords here, like extremely. Extremely just emphasizes the driven and honest part, right? Um, so, yeah, yep. a good read there, simple, straightforward. A lot of people are going to breeze straight past that, but that's okay as long as there's something there. Um, everything else, really cool as well. Where does your link tree go, by the way? Do you have like a landing page or anything set up? I didn't actually look at this before. Oh, yeah, cool. So, book an appraisal no, so contact. Currently, yeah, so currently. Yeah. Oh no, I was actually um watching one of your um I, I bought your I bought your course and I'm currently going through oh, it awesome. and actually creating a, a funnel as well. So love it. Good stuff. Cool. Yeah. Thanks for thanks for thanks for jumping onto that too. Um, we're we keen to see how you how you find it. How you what stage are you up to so far? What module are you up to? I'm up to the creating a funnel. So um awesome. So tomorrow or tonight, I'm going to go through and actually follow your steps because it's the uh, yeah the, the module is follow follow the steps. So. Yep. Oh, okay, cool. I'll uh, yeah, make some time awesome. for that and I'm going to go through it this weekend. Yeah, Yeah, cool. So plenty of value in there as well so far? Yeah, heat. heat. Awesome. I, that was just a subtle little plug for, to get other people to go and buy that course as well, by the way, if you didn't pick up on that. That's a, uh, yeah, that's, no, what we call a uh, <laughs> that's what we call a subtle close in the real estate business. Uh, anyway, but other than that, mate, that's great. Linktree, 
the fact that you get the link tree. By the way, um, if you're signing up to ClickFunnels to build a funnel, you'll be able to build one of these inside ClickFunnels as well. Um, so uh, let me know after the call. I can send you a, a template for it so you can just download it straight away. Because from memory, like Linktree is pretty expensive, right? How much are you paying per month for Linktree? I'm actually not too sure. My wife actually did this for me. Okay. I think from memory, like Linktree is like 50 bucks a month or something, right? It's pretty expensive. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. like it's good, but you could, you could easily build this exact same template um, in ClickFunnels. You won't have like Linktree branding on it and stuff. You can... Yeah, anyway, we can talk about that if need be. Oh, cool. But good good stuff on yep. that. I think your your intro section, really, really good. No, not an overload of information. Um uh link tree, Instagram, that's great. I wouldn't touch any of that. That's awesome. The other thing that was was really cool, which I haven't touched on, on on the previous um coaching calls that I've done with other agents before yours, but I'm glad you're using the featured section. This is cool as mm-hmm. well. So um this is like I guess a, a really subtle call to or like a really simple call to action. Sorry. So I'm um, ready to get my five tips for success marketing marketing your home. That's awesome. So once you start building funnels inside, obviously once you learn how to build a funnel, this is going to be your lead magnet straight away, I would assume, right? You can you, you can just get people to to download that. So this is really cool for someone who's been in the industry for three months. Man, that's awesome. A really good way to generate a lot of brand awareness as well because people are going to want to, you know, it's, it's something that people can get from any agent, right? But what most agents really struggle with yep. is generating traffic to get that lead magnet or get that piece of value or get that checklist or whatever it might be. So really cool, man. I'm glad that you've already created this. Is that a, is that something you created or was that like a Ray White Mandra template that you guys already had? What's the story there? Yeah, no. So uh, it's called Coffee, like a co- Coffee and Contracts uh, is the uh, oh, website. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Coffee and Contracts. Yeah, so- but is that... I'm just trying to think. Is that is that is that Beck who has that? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and um, yeah, yeah. So found well, it she's and gonna, then she's yeah, gonna hate me if this is um. No, it's not Beck. I know the one you're talking about though. Yeah, cool. Some really cool uh, stuff yeah, on there. Yeah. Nice work. Mm, it, there's so much. So I thought that um yeah I'd go on there, have a little look, and there's so much. I thought oh. I'll give it a go. So I've currently got a month to month uh, subscription and I'm currently using it, but I I am loving it. So Awesome, man. Good on you. Obviously this is for any new agents watching right now. This is, this is one Oh one, what you should be doing. Mackenzie's like, obviously he's ripping into everything. Obviously the link tree, you got that down there. You're signing up to the copies and contracts. You're understanding all those little fundamentals. Now, hopefully this isn't interrupting your, your prospecting time and, and calling buyers and trying to build pipelines and whatever else, of course, this is all additional no, yeah. stuff that you add on the top, of course, but it's so much stuff that people just don't want to do. And there's so many resources out there that, that you've clearly tapped into, which is great. You've already done some research around that. And it sounds like you've got a really supportive wife, which is which is awesome. Um, you would yeah. never make it in real estate uh, or certainly the early days without a, a supportive um, network somewhere with you, whether it's your family at home or or friends, friends somewhere. But um, that's really cool, man. I love this. And as I said, when you start firing up your, your lead funnel, um, you'll be able to direct them straight to that as well and, and capture a lot more details um, on entry. As I start scrolling down, um, this is where it starts getting a little bit generic. So just sold, you need this stuff. That's great. Like I get that. What the just listed, just sold kind of stuff does for you is it creates credibility for you as an agent. So it shows no one wants to work with an agent who doesn't list and sell anything, Right. So this is yep. this is good from a credibility perspective, but it's very generic, very typical, whatever else, right? So what I generally try and encourage is about one of those, one professional post to two to three personal posts, okay? I'll explain yep. what I mean by a personal post in a moment. The second thing I'd like you to start doing is attaching a call to action in your, all of every single thing that you post, okay? So everything, every single professional thing that you post. So what I mean by that is... Sold. Rare opportunity overlooking uh, uh, Doorsville. Doorsville Cut is it? Doorsville Cut. Yep. You get a link to the. You get a link to the uh, that property below that. What I want you to do is put in there if you're thinking about selling yourself, um, either link them to your book and appraisal. So link yep. them, maybe link them to your to your link tree, or if this is a separate form somewhere, um, link them to that. Um, if you're thinking about selling and want an updated appraisal on your property, click here. Right and then put the call to action in there. Or if you'd like to see how your home compares. So this is where a really cool, uh, they're probably the two best lines you can use. Every agent use, if you'd like to get updated appraisal on your property, click here. So if you want to go a little bit different, um, really good wording is 
if you want to see how your property compares, click here, right? Because it creates an action. You want a call to action. You want, to be, want people to really engage with the, that little bit further, okay? Now, you're not going to get a huge amount of appraisals from it straight away, but if you get an extra two or three a year, that dramatically changes your business in the first 12 months of your business, of your career, right? So yeah. just get in the habit of t attaching a call to action to everything. Once you start listing and selling a lot more and once you start running paid ads, which will be further down the track, generally after the yep. first 12 months is when I recommend it, um, you'll have a call to action on everything and you'll start getting a shitload more opportunities off the back of that as well. So just try and get into the habit of everything professional you post, attach a call to action. Otherwise, what's the point, right? Sure, some people yep. will argue with me and say, oh, but Jordan, I just want to try and provide value to my marketplace. Your market doesn't care about what you're doing. They, they simply don't right? They care about themselves. So let's give them an opportunity to care more about themselves and let's give you an opportunity to, to care about them as well. Does that make sense? So yeah, call to actions, call to actions on everything. So, but as I said, try and run with about one to three, one to two worst case scenario. I'll explain a bit more around what a personal post is in a minute. Coming down, this is really cool as well. Obviously this is where you've, you've um, pinned the feature. Um, so these kind of stuff, particularly early in your career are great ones, right? So things like um, tips to sell, um, you know, I spoke about another one the other day, like uh, three steps to maximize your sale price by $30,000 is a really good one that I used to always use early in my career as well. And like, how simple is it, right? You know, pressure clean your driveways and, oh. and your front of your house, pressure clean your roof, um, declutter um, inside your house and remove bulky items. And then number three, increase your curb appeal. So um, tidy up gardens and things like that because everyone knows that first impressions last and when people drive past. So there's another little one for you. You can just Google. I think there's one. I can't remember the website. I can send it to you afterwards. But there's a website floating around. You can probably just yeah, do a quick Google search and just do. Um, it's just like real estate, um, real estate lead magnets. Okay. So there's like there's like a hundred different ideas. Let's just have a quick look at it now. See if I can pull it up. Um, real estate lead magnets so a lead magnet is something that's going to give them give them value and hopefully get some um, something in return or well, the coffee and contracts one probably does it they've probably got a ton in there right but there is another one yeah. that can just it'll just give you the tips to create it yourself i'm not going to i'm conscious of time so i won't dive too deep into it today but this stuff's great i'd be probably trying to do these like one of these while you're early days and while you don't have a big clientele list or a, a big uh pipeline list i'll probably try and do those like once a week right here's another yep. one for you mckenzie um, because obviously Theo is doing quite a few deals. This is one yep. piece of gold. So um, I want you to start doing, do me a favor, start doing this once I tell you what it is, start doing it, report back to me how, with how you go with it, okay? So what people are doing yep. a lot of at the moment is market value, uh, market update videos. So they get their phone, they record themselves. Hey, it's Jordan Bain from ABC Real Estate. Just give me a quick market update on what's happening in the marketplace at the moment. Um, the suburb of Mandra has seen 24 sales. The average sale price for a house was $826,000. The average sale price for a unit was $623,000. If you're thinking about selling, give me a call, 0434. Garbage, right? Don't do that stuff. It doesn't work. Everyone yeah. does it. People are sick of seeing them. Here's what you should do. Go and get, what's the, uh, let, let's say, for example, the average sale price in Mandra is $800,000, right? Go and walk into one of Theo's $600,000 listings go and walk into one of Theo's $800,000 listings and then go to get a million, walk through one of his million dollar listings as well. What you're going to do is you're going to do a handheld. So you're going to walk around the house going, hey guys, Mackenzie Smith, Ray White Mandra, I just want to give you an update on what a $600,000 property looks like in today's yep. marketplace, right? And then walk through an $800,000 property. This is what an $800,000 property looks like. Link them to the property so you're getting more views for Theo's listings as well and then hopefully more inquiry. And then hopefully more sellers, of course, as well. And then walk through a million dollar property. Same deal, walking through, this is what a million dollar property looks like. Now, that is going to get you so much more engagement than a standard, here's the market update for Mandra for the month of October, right? People don't give yep. two shits about that. Be more relevant to the market. So if you're walking through a six and eight and a million dollar listing, people, your engagement will go through the roof, man. So trust me, try that. Let me know how it goes. Cool? Yeah, perfect. Definitely. Cool. Um, and Theo's got enough listings to be able to do that. And just he'll just get, he'll get the keys off him and just, hey, man, I'm just going to walk through this property and hopefully get some listings out of it, right? So try that yep. as well. That's a really good a really good one. But outside that, I'd be trying to push for, for more of this, maybe one of these a week, right, if you can as well. So add that, tailor that in. The videos as well always have to be handheld. 
The reason being handheld when you're doing a selfie video, way more engagement than someone following you around recording you. Okay. Same. It's just the program, the algorithm is just programmed for that stuff. Right. Okay. So yep. you don't want, uh, you don't want someone following you around too professional. It's just, you're trying to be someone you're not just be, just, just be McKenzie, right? Just handheld. Yep. Hey man. Hey guys, how you going? Blah, blah, blah. If you same deal, uh, if, if you drop the F bomb, whatever, it doesn't matter. You say shit. Oh shit. You trip over something. Don't worry about it. It's fine. That's what people love. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Um, if there's a, if there's a dog in the house, this is by the way, this is a little scrappy. The dog, you know, he doesn't come with the house, but you know, whatever things like that. Just be be fun. Be you know, be show your personality type. Right. If you're yep. not that personality, that's okay. But still, just be you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. No, I cool. I, I think I definitely am. Yeah. So that'd awesome. be sweet. Good. Good. Because then, just as a heads up, they're gonna they're gonna understand when people are scrolling through your your Facebook feed or your Facebook page now. They're going to see all of that. So when they interview you uh, or you go into a listing presentation with Theo, whatever it might be, they feel as though they already know you. They've already related to you on a personal level before you're in the door, which is exactly what you need, okay? As I scroll down, more of just, I guess, the standard stuff. I think there was, no, there wasn't. What I want you to do more of, I want you to do more. um, uh, so So what are you doing on the weekend? So you got your family, like do you play golf? Do you, you know, go to the beach? What do you do? Yep. So um, on weekends, uh, typically um, tomorrow I'm going to my son's soccer game. So awesome. he plays soccer uh, at that Dora. And then in the afternoons, uh, we usually just go for a drive uh, around, you know, Mandurah. Or we go down south um, to Bustleston or to Dunsborough. Um, and then we go to the beach. Um, we go to the different cafes and so on because we just like trying out different different foods around different places. Um, but I'm I'm pretty big in the sport. Um, not like, you know, club-wise, but, you know, we like to go out and play a bit of basketball or, you know, we like to kick the footy around uh, and, and things like that. And also, my I like man. to take my kids to different, my, different things. Man, you have got so much opportunity for content, it's not funny. <laughs> hey, look, look who's calling me, by the way, right now. Is that Theo? <laughs> <laughs> Should I answer it and say I'm on the phone to you right now? No, I'll call him back. Anyway, yeah, that's funny. He actually tried, tried to call me just before. That's funny. I'll call him back. It's all right. How funny is that though? Anyway, so, um, okay, my man, you've got so much opportunity for content. It's not funny. Okay. So tomorrow morning, when you take your kids to soccer, get a photo, right? Get a photo while you're there. Obviously, don't take a photo of the kids because people don't like that. That's fine. But just get a photo of you being at the soccer club, whatever it is. If there's a Mandra soccer club sign when you drive in, go and get a photo of that or a selfie with that. Put your club shirt on if you can or a Ray White shirt, whatever it might be. Get a selfie of you um, at the local soccer club. Post that straight away, right? Because how many mums and dads have kids that play at that soccer club who own property in your area? A ton, right? Now, you know, like most agents don't have time to do that on the weekend because they're going to, you know, they're doing their open homes and they're just so fixed on working in real estate seven days a week. So you're doing that. So it's an opportunity, great opportunity for you to go and get some content around that. Because again, if you go into a listing presentation and they're up against, you're up against um, ABC Real Estate and Harcourts, for example, and they sh- they mystery shop you on your Facebook page and they see that you're involved with the local soccer club and their kids play for the local soccer club, brand equity through the roof. Like you're you're walking into that on a pedestal straight away. Okay. Second one. Local beaches, local cafes, support that stuff. When you get your coffee in the morning, take a photo of your coffee um, with your hand, like in your hand or whatever, plug the cafe, tag the cafe, Instagram and Facebook, do them both, okay? Um, you don't have to do it every single time, but you know, every every week or every couple of weeks, right? Or do a selfie with the owners, right? Hey, guys, I come in here every day. Let's get a photo, put it on my socials. You might get one person in and come get a coffee, but if I can help in any way, I'd love to be able to help. By the way, if you have anyone coming in, um, who are locals and regulars who are thinking about selling, here's my card, can you give them my card, right? Stuff like that. Just yep. start building those relationships. Be, Gary V says it like crazy, be the local mayor of your town, right? So do more of that. And would, would, would you post them or would you put them as stories or both? Both. Yeah, both, both. But, so if, if you're, I'll tell you what, if, if, you're, if you're getting the same, if you're going to the same coffee shop every single day, don't post that every single day in, on your page. If you go, yeah. here's a really cool one though. If you're checking out every coffee shop in Mandra. There's a challenge for you. Go every morning, even if it's 20 minutes out of your way, go try a new coffee shop and be like a, like 
like be the like the foodie, be the foodie of Mandra, like the coffee shop connoisseur of Mandra, right? And like rate everyone's coffee, rate the service, rate the 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 atmosphere, things like like you've got time for that at the moment, right? Like I say, I say you got time. You got three kids and a wife at home. Like I know you haven't got that much <laughs> yeah. time, but you've got you've got time in the consideration of you don't have a great deal of listings to work at the moment, right? You don't have a ton of buyer inquiry you got a service. You don't have a lot of pipe on your service. So while you've got time to start building those relationships and building that brand awareness in your community, do it, right? So go to every single coffee shop in your area over the next month, right? doesn't have to be every single day, but just go in there, rate the coffee. So you don't have to say too much. Um, you know, uh, let's say it's um, XYZ coffee shop in uh, on Buxton Street. I don't know. I'm just trying to name out there, right? Um, so what you do is XYZ coffee, Buxton Street, service, four out of five, coffee, 3.5 out of 5, atmosphere, 5 out of 5, really cool funky stereos and cool stools and stuff, great view of the water, really recommend it. Um, uh, you know, Tom and Jerry are the owners, go and say good day to them, right? Imagine if you did that for yep. every single coffee shop in your area. Yeah. Like pe yep. People would just be following. I would follow that, man. I would follow that just to check out, like, I even live in Mandra. Right, like I'll just follow <laughs> just to see what you think about the coffee, and just and getting a photo of the atmosphere. You know, getting a photo of the coffee shop when you walk in. Man, that stuff works really, really well, and that's the personal touch that I'm talking about. The soccer photos, another another personal touch. Get a photo of your kid in his jersey if, if you're you and your wife are happy. I don't know if you're happy sharing photos of your kids on social, though, but if you are, yeah, get yeah, yeah, great. So get you and your kids while they're at soccer in their jersey, um, and say. Um, proud supporters of Mandra Soccer Club or Mandra Football Club, right? Now, you don't have to sponsor yeah. them. You, you pay your kids' fees there, right? So you're still a proud yeah. supporter. So Definitely. just things like that, little little touches like that, add go a mile, right? Um, the other one, like shooting hoops down at a local basketball court. Here's one for you. Take a photo or get, someone, get one of your mates to take a photo of you shooting hoops at the local basketball court. Hey, guys, don't know if you guys are aware of this um, little hidden gem down on – brown street or high street or whatever um you know i'm down here every second thursday come say good day if you're keen on shooting no one's coming down man but you've been inviting and you're showing a bit of personality so if i play basketball and i'm selling my house guess what instant connection right yep. and you're going to pick up in that as soon as you get to the listing presentation as well so just start trying to build that rapport um so they're, they're the kind of the personal posts that i start, that i'm talking about we, you need to do the just solds, just listed because it creates credibility and people don't want to work with someone who's not busy, right? But yep. you need some personal touches in there because I can tell you right now that there's not a great deal about Mackenzie Smith that I'm learning right now by breezing through your th through your Facebook page and I don't like that. And I'll tell you why I don't like that. You of all people will know this because you're a family man, number one, but you've only been in real estate for three months, number two, okay? Mm -hmm. People do not trust real estate agents. The yep. reason I don't trust them is because they don't share enough um, information, number one. They're dishonest, right? And they're these robots in suits that walk around and have to be professional all the bloody time, okay? So the more personality you can put in here, the more trust you create. Does mm. that make sense? Yeah, definitely, definitely. So start doing more of that. I think honestly, like I know, obviously you haven't got a huge following at the moment. It's obviously a very brand, like you know, brand new page. More if if you just sit here and keep posting this stuff, this will not grow. Okay, if you do yep. personal posts, so two, I would say three to one. Okay, so share. Make sure you're sharing Theo's just listed and just sold as well, because you don't want to just have the one Captain Court. Um, uh, just sold on there. You want to have more stuff on there as well. So even if it's not your listings, still share Theo's listings. Okay. So do more, still more of that yeah. three yep. to one. So get three personal posts to the one business post. Um, you're already going to jump onto the funnel, which is great. So you're going to create more of that and, and try and maybe do a new one of these once a week, once a month, even if you start rotating them, that's okay. So if you get through five or six and then you have to come back to the first one again, don't worry about it. Repost it again because people in five or six weeks time, might respond to it differently to whenever you post this on the 9th of November, right? Okay, so just yep. try and keep those rotating. The third thing I want you to do is just go to, the, go to those 600, 800 million dollar listings. This is what a $600,000 listing looks like in our area. Um, here's your call to action for those videos as well. If you want to know a certain price point for Mandra, let me know and I'll do it in the next video. Yep. Guess what? They're going to comment on it. Guess what? You, they comment on it, their name's in their 
Facebook bio. Guess what you can do with their name and their Facebook bio? Go on RP Data, see what that properties they own. Guess what? There's a person now added to your pipeline and that you can hopefully build a relationship with. Yep. Just by sharing value, right? So do more cool shit like that. And trust me, it'll, it'll really resonate to you as a young agent, up and comer, trying to sort of get your name out there, build your brand. The other thing, sorry, I didn't mention before is try and do more around the family stuff, as I said. So that's the, the fourth thing that I mentioned, recommend you do. Get more around your family and your personal life as well because as soon as people see you're a family man, instant connection, right? Because most of the people you're going to be selling houses for, let's be real, are going to be family orientated, right? Yeah, yeah. So so make sure you, you speak that language in your Facebook page as well and Instagram. What are your thoughts, man? Any value there? Feedback? Oh, questions? definitely, yeah. Um, massive, massive value. Um, yeah, definitely. I think that, you know, going on to other people's pages and so on, as, as, as a new agent does, I guess we go through and we go, okay, they're doing this and they're, you know, and a, a good agent will, you know, a, a good agent in the area or a good agent that you, um, you know, can see the kind of figures they're doing. So it's, it's very easy to, to get into the trap of just copying uh, and trying 100%. to be like them because they are successful and you want to be successful. But, I know that it isn't like that anymore and it isn't like it was 15 years ago. Um, and that's why it's changing. And I think people want more of a personal connection and that's Thank exactly you. what, yeah, that's exactly why I, um, yeah, jumped onto you cause I could see that you're different. You weren't like the other ads, you know, it was a lot more, okay, this guy's actually got a point. Uh, and then, yeah, that's why I jumped on and yeah, massive, massive value. At least I now have a, um, a goal going ahead. And there was a few points that you said don't do where I was actually thinking about doing. So one of them was yeah. doing the market update. Don't yeah, do it. No. Yeah, good. I'm glad. Yeah, don't do it. Scrap them, man. Scrap them. Absolutely scrap them. Yeah. Because again, all of your competition are already doing them, right? Yeah. So you don't need to yeah. do them. I just, want to, I just want to quickly, like obviously prove it to you as well. Like at the end of the day, this is my, I won't show my Facebook because my Facebook's a little bit different, but yeah, you know, like business post, business post, business post, personal, 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 right? Like, not many age, like, and this is me at my brother's bucks party, do you know? So, like, if you, this is my Instagram. Anyone who's not following me, go on and have a follow so you can give me some feedback yourself. But, like, anything that's business created, like, 34 likes. Like, I don't, I, I don't care about likes, of course, right? But 34 likes, 51 likes. And then you look at the personal ones, 137, 64, 76. So, the, the non-172, 179. So, the, the, one, the ones that aren't actually business related, get a lot more engagement, right? But I've still got to throw some yep. business stuff in there to show people like I'm still doing real estate and, and marketing, right? But you can see with mine, three and then three, four. Well, that's five, six, and then personal. So I, I play footy on the weekend. So, you know, me playing footy, so people resonate with that. Business again, that one's business related because it's about my, 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 uh, my real estate agency. We had an awards night. Business again, you know, relax, relax, business. You know, so that kind of gives you a bit of an idea. Footy again, me with my dogs at the beach. You know, um, my, my partner has horses. So, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to show what I do on the weekends as well. Mm. Because when people work with me, because obviously I can guarantee in the last three months I've shown up in your newsfeed like crazy as everyone else's, everyone else's newsfeed that's watching this back. Um, but I want to give people, people say to me all the time, why don't you have a per, like a business Instagram account? Well, I don't really care for it. I want people to see that, you know, my missus has horses and I hang out with my niece and nephew and I propose to my, my fiance at this time and I go, on, I go to the beach and play footy, this kind of stuff, have dogs. That's what people want to resonate with. If people don't resonate with me as an individual, they're not going to buy my service anyway, right? And that's yeah. okay. Yeah. So just show people how you are. But again, try and go for the three to one, as I said, um, or a worst case scenario, two to one. You want to always outweigh personal to, per, to professional. But glad it's been a value, mate. I really appreciate your time as well. We'll, um, uh, I'll keep a keen eye on on what you're doing over the next few months. And as always, mate, reach out uh, if I can help. Yeah, thank you very, very much. Um, yeah, massive, massive uh, value gains. Um, so everyone who is watching, yeah, definitely recommend you. Uh, Legend, and yeah, I'll thanks, definitely mate. recommend you to our other other agents and other people that are coming in. And yeah, I'm I'm very, very excited to see where the uh, the future holds and. Um, the online space, uh, I think, is, is is where it's going to be at. So, for sure. Uh, hey, mate, one much. more question for you: Sour yep. Patch Kids and, and a Coke Can. 
That's it. That's it. It's um, it's off. It's, it's off a song. Um, back in the day, I actually don't know what song it was off, but I remember a couple of years ago, I I heard, I heard the uh, lyrics and I thought it was just a little bit different. And I thought, yeah, I like you know, it. everyone's got something, something's phone, something this, something that. And I thought, oh, Star Pass Kids and the Coke Cans a little bit, a little bit out there. It's a bit more my personality, so. Yeah, no, nah, cool, mate. And hey, <laughs> everyone, anyone else who is watching as well, go and uh, go and watch Mackenzie's journey. Hey, let's get behind the the new agents in our industry. It always helps. So go give them a follow, give them a like, um, throw in some love. Um, we obviously need more more guys like Mackenzie in the industry. So go on in, my friends. Good to chat, and uh, appreciate your time. Uh, thank you very much. Cheers for that. Pleasure, mate. Uh, we'll talk soon. Talk soon. Hey. See ya.